So I found this really, really old abandoned school here and I decided that I was gonna come through and take a look. This is something, I don't know how long this has been sitting here, but you can see that it's been sitting here a good while. All the windows are knocked out. Got some uh, lovely drawings up on the wall there. And you can see, as you look out, you can see the houses. See my car up over there in the uh, old abandoned parking lot here. I think this must have been some auditorium though because there ain't no gym in here. And if you look around, do, 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 there's nothing hanging down. So I'm assuming that this must have been an auditorium into this building. And then as you look down the hallway here, this here is really some creepy stuff coming down here. The smell in here is interesting at best. It doesn't smell like dead animal, but it's more of a, uh, I guess a fecal material smell. And I'm just gonna walk through here and show you all a little bit of this. This here, I'm assuming, must have been some type of ladies room or whatnot, but I can't see no light in there, so I decide I ain't gonna go in there. And you can see all the debris on the floor here. A lot of it has been here a long time. If you take a look at this Mountain Dew, that's been there for a good while. <clears throat> you can see that this building has been sitting here for, I'd say, a good number of years. You can see this was the little boy's room. A little bit better light in here. And this is where the smell is the worst. I'll tell you, you got hornet's nest all over. You got these interesting little things here. Broken toilets. Somebody took the sinks off the wall. It really is really interesting in here. And if you look up, I don't know if that'll show through right there. That gave the boys something to look at, I guess, while they was in here doing their duty. <sighs> the smell is just horrible. But people have been through here. And this hallway here is just so creepy. I love it. You got, I don't know what all this means. But I decided that maybe what I'll do is I'll just record this a little bit and share some of this with you guys. I'm assuming that this was the office at one point because the door is red and it's the only door in the building without a number. And it's really weird to think. You can tell it's been sitting a while. But I mean, it's just really weird to think that they wouldn't tear this down. You know, they would just leave this sitting up like this. And I really don't know why. And this right here must have been some type of office, as you can see from the light up there. Yes, that's light. That's some, uh, this is some old school stuff here. I'll show you around the corners. Hornets buzzing all over. Somebody was uh, doing some pot and soil in here. Got you a shoe there, a nice little Converse shoe, probably been sitting there for years. And you know that people have been coming up in here and staying and doing what they're doing. They're doing all sorts of weird things, I guess. But it's really, really, really hard to find a building like this where you can actually sit here and go through it and see what there is to see. Because usually they got them either A, boarded up, or B, they're so, so decrepit you don't want to even walk into them. And one thing that I really found interesting were these rooms like this, where you had the windows, but over there on, on this room here is the only one with a door like that to the outside that I found in here. And I mean, this, this, is, this is some interesting floor here, old Sprite bottle. I wouldn't know what this room was used for at one time, but this connects back to that room back there with the foam padding. Not really sure. We're actually about 14 miles south of a town called Red something. Uh, Red, Red Springs or something. But what's really weird is all of, uh, <clears throat> all of your classrooms and whatnot that are on the back side all had a door. But on the front side to the front of the building there was no door. And I'm not really sure what's in this room. This room here is a little bit different. This may have possibly been a cafeteria or something. But it, as you can see, all the classrooms interconnected with each other. And you can see the old beams and whatnot. I just really find stuff like this interesting because you usually don't get to see what happens as a progression is a building such as this just starts to break down and do its thing. 
I mean, you can see classroom number nine. It's a single story building. I really wish it was two stories or I could find some way to get to the basement. And what's really funny is uh, they have boarded up part of it, but the other part they just left wide open. As you can see from the windows there, and I guess maybe the state just gave up and decided that they just couldn't keep the people out or whatnot. Got a gentleman walking through there. And uh, I did find some really interesting artwork up over here. As you can see, there's that gentleman that I was telling you about. And this, I know, is from the town that I've been staying in recently up here. This is from uh, Lumberton, as you can see there. I'm not really sure what kind of face that is. But as you can see where all the old chalkboards and stuff were. And there is one old uh, standalone chalkboard, but you can see where they've come down to the ground and they just have just decapitated and dilapidated. You can see more of the uh, hornet's nest there. And they're very active and uh, vicious in here, speaking of one, there's one. But you can see that this is really an interesting thing to go through. Somebody moved this. Ooh, ooh, that was a big one. <laughs> but no, somebody has moved this tower or table or whatnot out. You can see the people been in here partying. And you can see in this classroom the old chalkboard sitting there. More of the uh, building falling down, but I could not find any information or sign as to what building this was or what school it was. There is a brand new school down the road, I'd say about three or four years old. And you can see where they did have the doors boarded up, but people did push through. We're going to go outside and look outside. And what's really funny is uh, this, this uh, playground here. There is a playground on the back. There is some more artwork up over here on the building, as you can see. And what's really strange is, you know, it's all still in one piece, whatnot. You can see the playground still out there. Some crazy religious people in the background. But I just saw this as I was driving by the road, and I said, well, I definitely have to stop and take me a gander at this. Still not sure what this really represents there. There are a lot of uh, drawings, as I said. But what's really strange is that there's no, no, uh, no gang signs or whatnot. It's just really these uh, images that people are drawing up on there. And you can see from the front that this has been sitting here for quite a good long time. Not maintained. And the front of the building is really what interested me first when I pulled in. Because you could see how it's been sitting here for years and it's just been left and I really like to document these kinds of things I don't know I'm probably gonna put this up on YouTube so y'all can have a look I don't know if any of y'all be interested in this type of tour <clears throat> but I really find this stuff interesting and I know that if I find it interesting there's got to be other people out there who who likes this type of thing as well and you can see there's no signs no nothing letting you know what building this was but as I said I'm assuming that it was an elementary school you can see where the main front door is there we were in there and right there is where we started through there you got some shirts up in there and whatnot but you really don't see stuff like this down home in Florida or anywhere else but anyways, that is the gist of the abandoned school that I found today. Hope you enjoy. Please leave comments.